Hi Madhuri. First one to be there. Great. Puneet's also there. There's some people who've been there all through for all the meditations. Such a joy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Jaya. Dalat, wonderful to see you. Asha, also, namaste to you. Great. Lovely. So good to have you. I'm so excited to be with you every day and realize that each day we can make a big difference to our lives. Sejal, wonderful. Good morning. Good morning, Harshal. Rabi, great. How are you? All the best to you. Divya, so good to see you. Are you still dancing away? That video which you sent of yours, fantastic. Arpita, great celebration. Devki, good to see you. Where are you teaching today? Yoga and meditation. Lovely. All right. So shall we now look inwards and begin? Vishrut Shaligram, all of us are here. We are nicely forming a group of meditators every day. We are joining in to enjoy the vibrations and have the whole day feel wonderful. So welcome to the world of self-discovery, all of you. Let us all connect with ourselves to make this life a better place. We realize that there is so much that we have to share and people have been sharing. That reminds me, please press the share button right away so that your friends can join in as well for this meditation. This is a very important dimension of your life which we are today understanding and realizing. So, Connect with them, press the share button, press the like button and let's start getting into that world of our own which will give us our inner Shakti, inner power, awaken all of them and get going. Lovely. So as I was saying, I've been getting such a lot of feedback, so many shares about how the past has impacted people in their lives and most of it has been a lot of depression, sadness, negativity and uh, probably a feeling that their lives did not give them what they were seeking in the past. But it's all right, let us relieve and realize that there's also a positive aspect to your past. And today what we will be looking at is the positive past self which you have enjoyed. And it is because of that that today you have grown up to become this beautiful person. Isn't it? So today let us see how we can make and create that positivity in our life through our past experiences. It's really very beautiful over here. I'm sitting on this farm. It's peaceful in the morning. Maybe you can hear the river gentle, gently flowing. Today it's quite powerful. And I wonder what your environment is like when you're meditating. Now that you're doing it regularly, try and find a place, a space in your home, a little corner which you could make your meditative space. Let that space have that positive energy. Let there be some light, maybe a candle or a dia like I have over here. Maybe some fragrant uh, flowers or whatever you want to create those fragrances with. And also a 
kind of environment which invites you to go into your peace center and make you feel good. So how many people have this space that you've created which is your space of calming inner bliss? Anybody? I can see Keshu waving, waving yes. Do you have this kind of a space, Keshu? Great. And today, that same space we are going to create in our heart. All right. Let's make this life full of joy and also keeping in mind that all this has happened because of so many blessings we've enjoyed of the people who have loved us. So Jata, good morning. Great to see you. Again, all my blessings to the team at the hospital, Breach Candy Hospital, who are working very hard for all the corona patients and working day and night. Let's reach out in a prayer to them. Thank you very much. All my gratitude to all of you. Please stay safe, Sujatha, while you're doing work with the patients. Lovely to have so many people joining us. Let's begin now. Let us today visualize the greatest love of our life. Let me repeat. Today, in our meditation, we are going to visualize the greatest love of our life. But before we do that, can you please get some paper and pencil? Just keep it handy because we're going to do a little bit of writing after we've done the visualizing. So keep this. Anand, lovely to see you. How are you? All well? Great. So, have you got your paper pencil with you? Dia, so good to see you. Lovely. So, there are people from all over US, Canada, New Caledonia, Mumbai, Pune, and so many. Let's all join in to form this beautiful collectivity of meditators. Wonderful. Now, let me start the music for you as we start moving inwards. Those who are wearing specs, just relax. Keep yourself in that quiet space. Great. Have you got your paper pencils? Are we ready to go? This always does the hoogly. Mm -hmm. Let me just get it. Okay. It happens sometimes. This <laughs> internet connectivity goes also. Great. There I am. Got it. So, are you all ready to take this in our journey? Remember, we have to visualize the one who has been the love of your life. The one who has given you unconditional, pure, positive energy of love. Selfless love. Absolutely genuine. 
And now, let us gently close our eyes. Relax our body completely. As you relax your body, breathe deeply. You can be seated or you could be lying down. Stay tuned to the relaxation that starts flowing through your body. Let your mind relax. Your body relax. And now, visualize the greatest love of your life. The one who has been the giver of all the unconditional love, pure and positive. Let us bring that person into our inner heart space and see how this person has helped you to create your positive past. This person could be your parents, could be your mother, father, sister, brother, anyone from the family or it could be a very close friend who's been a positive influence in your life it could be your partner it could be any relation Great. So having brought this person to your consciousness, to your awareness, now let us begin to see the three most positive experiences which you have had with this person. Just become aware of it. Experiences which gave you so much of happiness, feeling of inner joy and feeling that completeness. You could have had fun, excitement, adventure with that person. Whatever it was, just create that experience and see it. If all three do not come to your mind, you could even stay with one or two, but the most powerful experiences. I'll give you time to create it. You could even write it down.
great now let us move on and let us look at three positive learnings that you received from this person it could be a very important life changing lesson that you learned or it could be just how your personality developed and what are the three things that this person influenced you in your life and directed you to the path of learning Yes, look at how your growth and development and was shaped by this person. Yes. So powerful when learning happens with love it could begin a big transformation in your life. Just imagine the first lessons you had of writing alphabets. It's so beautiful and today you are all because of that time spent in nurturing you loving you and making you into this all powerful person great now let us move on to another aspect of this person and you Let us think about three positive celebrations which you had with this person in your life. Any three celebrations? Events that happened that created just so much of inner feeling of love, joy, peace, and absolute fun I'm also thinking and enjoying that feeling. The positive past has also enriched us to such a degree that we today in the next part of this visualization let us think of three most positive things to be grateful for to this person three most positive things to be grateful for our thanks to this person because of these three powerful 
most positive things which happened in your life. And the number of thank yous you can say is not enough. Yes. Your heart is saying that I am really and deeply thanking you, thanking God for bringing this person in my life. It could even be your pet. Sorry, I forgot to say that. So maybe you could rework this exercise or probably you've already done that. Sometimes the influence of a pet is as powerful as the love you receive from a person. Wonderful. So have we got that? In our visualization, this person who has contributed to positive experiences, to learnings, to celebrations in your life, and we are deeply indebted to this person for making us and shaping us our true selves. Now, let us begin to see how you're feeling. What are your feelings in your heart right now? Are you still visualizing all that you did with that person? Has your whole past been suddenly up in your imagination and attention are you happy and grateful in your heart for that positive feelings that you enjoyed all the gifts that were given to you by this person and now let us expand our consciousness let us expand this love and let us do it this way let us place a palm on our heart chakra And taking the energy from the universe with your left palm, just open up your heart and spread this energy of love, soothing your entire body, your physical body, your emotional body. and your spiritual body which extends about two and a half feet away from your physical body the aura as it is often called this subtle energy just let this energy of love exude and pass through from your heart to every every little space outside you your cells are now full of love your body is full of love there is the positive energy flowing of love and you're protected, you are sheltered, and you are nurtured.
let all the negative toxic energies be released and out and stay in tune with your positive self see how you can be loved by someone that you're always capable of giving love sharing love and receiving love how did you feel when you were looking at the experiences that you had with that person did you feel joyful did you feel happy were you laughing were you enjoying all the little little goodies that you shared maybe the food the hobbies the things that you collected the whole joy of sharing yourself with someone openly and honestly in a very genuine way what a feeling that is did you experience that in the awakening of this past did you feel that yes i am growing and growing even now because of that love though it may be in your childhood or in your past still this love is flowing ever flowing and guiding you and what a precious gift is that and when you expand your being to share this love consciousness with everyone and everything you will grow to love the universe to love every being in the universe and this sense of being a part of the whole and the whole being a part of you is magical is the power of love is the opening of your heart chakra and today as we come out of this meditative space let us sit for a few minutes before we come out of the meditative space and let us see all the gifts we received through this love you could position your hand at the center channel and look at all the chakras how they've grown so beautifully and opened up because of this love your roots and your strength of the foundation that is created by this love let your root chakra receive that power of love beautiful now position your hand at the second nerve center which is in the pelvic plexus 
over here feel the creativity awakened in you by this love this all powerful expression that you have of yourself and everything around you is the power of this love which nurtured you look at all the dimensions of your contentment and satisfaction today the peace that you enjoy with all the success and progress that you made and the generosity which flows from here is the quality of love you received and you cross the material world which is your bhav sagar which is all around the third nerve center you go up to the chest region place your palm there again and feel the inner confidence and peace this love which is so compassionate and kind and got you to feel the power the courage of your being travel upwards to the next chakra in your throat region see how effective and wonderful today you are as a person sharing relationships communicating with love we've awakened the language of love over here and that gives us peace and joy and satisfaction in every relationship and finally let us look at forgiving people before we can actually realize our true selves this love has taught us to forgive people to let go no need to grudge no need to hold back any negativity or emotions that block us let this love flow in complete surrender to let go your ego and your past beliefs to forgive everyone and as you move to the seventh heaven which is there in you which the power of love has awakened in its fullest glory let us always stay connected and enjoy the divine wisdom which flows from this chakra as you attain harmony and oneness with everyone and everything and within ourselves so having awakened strength creativity contentment and peace love and confidence collective energy of relationships 
the joy of forgiving and attaining the truth of who you are the discovery of your satya realization this journey is so beautiful and so complete and as you start opening your eyes and becoming aware of your first internal environment and gently drawing your attention outwards to the environment let us bow to ourselves and awaken this love for ourselves we have to love ourselves too and that's the first step let this love just blossom and grow each day that you can share and have a wonderful life wish you all the very best may you have a wonderful day today share your love with everyone share this meditation this visualization with everyone and the dreams that you have with everyone become your true self press the share button share this and let me have some feedback about how you feeling this morning how are you after doing this meditation how are you feeling my son ashdin has this podcast which is called the habit coach and i thought i'd share this with you because one of the podcasts was on sniping with love sniping with love and what that means is when you are anywhere maybe at the airport sitting just at a busy place alone what you could do is just point in the direction of the person and just shoot him with love send love and vibrations of love to that person and you can keep doing that anywhere and it would be a lovely pastime when you're sitting alone i think it would be such a great thing try it as an experiment what i do is when i'm just sitting alone and in a crowded place or in another place i just start sending blessings and that blessings of course are power packed with love so you could also do that to spread love and open up your hearts and receive that grace wonderful shaligram is saying mother thank you very much for opening our hearts to give and receive much love mala was saying thank you for this meditation thank you and rabi saying very powerful meditation thank you ma great please use these precious moments which we are creating together and awakening the depth of our being so far we've been working on the past and we've looked at the past and we've awakened all the negatives and pushed them out and today we have looked at all the love that surrounds us arpita is saying thank you so much ma 
lovely meditation felt so much love i feel surrounded by love great now you can go and share it with your family and friends maybe you can send love bombs to people you know what love bombs are people whom you haven't met for a long time or spoken or communicated it with for a long time you could just send a message and make his or her day i call that a love bomb just blow his mind or her mind with your love anjana is saying ma i have you here and now but today you brought my mommy in my thoughts my mommy in my thoughts while doing the entire exercise and it's much more i can't read it thank you thank you thank you you are our inspiration teacher and guide thank you dolat viveka saying thank you ma it was beautiful i look forward to the morning meditation dates great so we'll have another date tomorrow with me i hope we can all be together and meditate it's a great idea i think as our pita is saying to be together during this lockdown puneet is saying thank you ma for the realization of the powerful purity of love yes that's a very important thing that only love which is pure unconditional can help someone to grow from strength to strength saloni saying also thank you for feeling for feeling of the strength of love within and outside yes absolutely realize that you're not alone in this world there are people and they will definitely love you so it is just heart pouring on my right side over here and i'm so happy please share this truly look forward tomorrow same time and let us wait to share our love god bless you keep you strong and keep you always blessed with lovely people around you anant 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 ashiva om satya om krishna saying om satya om yes that's a beautiful way to end this meditation thank you for sharing please don't forget to share let's share with thousands of people in the world thank you see you tomorrow